Behold, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR. But where did it come from? Meet Peter Safar, born in Austria in 1924. It's no surprise that Peter studied medicine. His father was an ophthalmologist and his mother was a pediatrician. After earning his MD from the University of Vienna, Peter moved to Connecticut's Yale New Haven Hospital in 1950 and concluded his studies at the University of Pennsylvania. From there, he traveled to several hospitals, eventually settling in Baltimore. While at the Baltimore City Hospital, Peter researched basic life support techniques. Along with James Elam, Peter combined several existing procedures from his colleagues at Johns Hopkins to create something he called the ABCs, which stands for a patient's airway, breathing, and circulation. Today, we call this stuff of genius CPR. CPR stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Here are the basics. The first step is A, for airway. The rescuer tilts the victim's head while lifting the chin. This moves the tongue from the back of the throat and clears the airway. The next step is B, for breathing. Victims who can breathe on their own should start breathing when the airway is cleared. If the patient isn't breathing, their nose is pinched and the rescuer forms a seal between their mouths, either using mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation or a CPR mask. The rescuer breathes air into the victim, trying to make their chest visibly rise. The next step is C, for circulation. Through compressing the chest, the rescuer hopes to provide circulation of oxygen through the body. The combination of these techniques has saved countless lives. 